Hello students and welcome to another science online class. This is video number two for the topic gases. Now, we will continue our discussion about properties of gases. So, gases are described in, term of, in terms of four properties. Pressure, volume, temperature, and amount of moles. So, when you say pressure, this is the force exerted by gas against the walls of the container. So, we have the following units to represent um, pressure. We have atmosphere, ATM, millimeters of mercury or mmHg, tor, and pascals. In terms of volume, volume is the space occupied by the gas represented by the units liter and milliliter. Temperature determines the kinetic energy and rate of motion of the gas particles which is represented by Celsius, degrees Celsius, or degrees with uh, represented by big letter C, Kelvin, and degrees Fahrenheit. And the amount of moles, which is the quantity of gas pres present in a container. So we have grams, moles, which are required in calculations. Now let's start the discussion about Boyle's Law. So when you say Boyle's Law, this is the volume of the gas, which is represented by big letter V, is inversely proportional to its pressure, which is represented by big letter P, at a constant temperature. So, um, Boyle's Law is represented by this one. So volume is inversely proportional to pressure. So we have the general formula, initial pressure, multiply by the initial volume is equivalent to the final pressure multiplied by the final volume. So P1 times V1 equals P2 times V2. So if we use uh, a graph, okay, so this is how inversely proportional looks like. So this is volume and pressure. Parang ganito, no? Kung ang volume ay mataas, ang pressure ay mababa. Kung ang pressure ay mataas, ang volume ay mababa. So let's have a sample problem. So a sample of chlorine gas occupies a volume of 946 ml at a pressure of 726 mmHg. What is the pressure of the gas in mmHg if the volume is reduced? at constant temperature to 154 ml. So, pressure multiplied by volume is equivalent to constant. No? So, we are using the general formula of Boyle's Law. Now, let's uh, substitute the given. So, initial pressure of 726 mmHg. Initial volume of 946 ml. The unknown given is final pressure and the final volume of 154. So let's do the calculation. So since P2 ang hinahanap, we will derive our new formula out of the general formula for so P1 or initial pressure multiplied by the initial volume divided by the final volume. So we will just substitute the value. So 726 mmHg times 946 ml divided by 154 ml. Ayan. So, let's cancel ml kasi nasa taas at nasa baba. So, matitira na lang na unit ay 700, I'm um, sorry, the mmHg. So, if we do the calculation, 726 times 946 divided by 154, the answer is 4,460 mmHg. So these are some of the applications of Boyle's Law. So we have syringe, our respiratory system, specifically the lungs, and the aerosol. Thank you for listening.